terms and I was curious as to what they were. That was in 2018. He then interned at a mushroom farm and was so suckered into the shrooms, he decided to open up this little urban farm in the midst of the pandemic. I just thought there was a niche there that should be explored more. He started to sell his varieties to restaurants, but that didn't sprout. They're also fascinating with how not many pe people overlook them, yet they have so many medicinal potentials. So he switched to selling and educating the public about his passion at farmers markets. Public demand was so high for it and keeping up with everybody's interest has been a challenge. He propagates different varieties on these fake logs. I would take this and then I would take the stem. And they spring into life indoors in a hot and humid grow tent. I mean, these are white snow oysters. Stab says it's all about opening your eyes to the edible underdog. He says shrooms can